Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video by Anton Gaming, or you can just call me AAA. Now, for this video, we're going to do a little overlook and a deck build on Twin Blast and how you should use him or how you could use him. Now, let's go to Twin Blast and see what this guy's all about. Okay, this is my Twin Blast. I have the Black Ops. This is a free skin. Yes, I kid you not. This is the free skin that came with the Monolith update if you play 10 games in the month of December. I think it lasted from the 20th or started on the 20th, or if it's not earlier, that's my mistake. Now, let's start off with his basic move, his double shot. This move, is it starts off as level 1, obviously. It takes 1 second to recharge. It deals 50 basic damage. Now, I don't know about you, but 50 basic damage coming out as a level 1 is amazing. This, his regular move is just all out, is just, it's just, he's a little overpowered is what I'm trying to say. You can start off with 50 damage and with these upgrades that I'm about to show you after with this overview of him, you will build him up perfectly to be a heavy hitter hammer. Well, I'll try to say that five times. Uh, the next move, which is an R1 move, which is rapid fire. This is a very unique move. After you, this move is very unique because you can be using the double shot and then you can click R1 and then he just fires it rapidly. And but the downside about this is it's a seven second recharge. Um, this is when you know he's gonna be shooting and he shoots extremely fast with a basic damage of Jalen. Cut that out, uh, cut that part out, and then put it back to this part. This is Twin Blast's next move, his rapid fire. It starts off as level 1, it consumes 45 mana, and takes 7 seconds to recharge. This is a very unique move because you can go from having a double shot, which takes about a second each to recharge, to going to a rapid fire, which has no recharge when he's just shooting it as fast as he can, which is what his rapid fire is. But after you've used that move, he's going to have a second second recharge. After that, we're going to have Grenade. This is one Twin Blast. I think he fires a grenade from either his hip or from his elbow. I can't really tell. But when he does it, I you probably can't tell either. I love this move because what it does, it does uh, area damage. So Twin Blast, he throws his grenade. And whatever area that is in, the grenade will explode there, damaging enemies with up to a 50 energy damage. This consumes 35 mana and takes 14 seconds to recharge when you're at level 1. Next, we're going to have Rocket Dash. This is when Twin Blast can basically juke out anyone. I was being chased down, I think it was either by a Steel or by, I think his name is Rampage. And I just rocket dashed right in front of him. And I went around him, I don't know how, and got safely into my tower. And that pretty much saved my life. So I recommend you get this upgrade first as, um, you know, when you first come again as level 1. Even though it is a kind of a hungry man eater, it does take 85 mana and, you know, 18 second recharge, which is okay. You know, once you level up, you can get that down to about 10 or uh, 17 seconds, I think. Next, you're going to have the Ventilate. This is when his arms turn into two big-ass guns. This is the move that everybody fucking hates, but when you're Twin Blast, you fucking love it. This is when he converts his two pistols into two giant, basically, miniguns. And this lasted a barrage of 30 bullets in 3 seconds. So you're going to have a 3 seconds of just a barrage of 30 bullets firing at you with 300 um, ability damage over the duration of the time. Now let's get into this deck build so we can get started with this video. Okay guys, so this is the deck build we're going to have for Twin Blast. This is going to be 27 out of 40 power, uh, card power, sorry guys. So for the first prime card, we're going to have the Warlord. This ha gives us 60 power and 100% damage bonus. Um, for our consumables, we're always going to have these, so you guys can just have these ready as soon as this video starts. We're going to have Health Potion, a Mana Potion, and a Scout's Ward. For our equipment, we're going to have one Bone Dice with three regular wounds. Sorry, excuse me. And as our next card equipment, we're going to have Braid of the Iron Eater. Brand of the Iron Eater with three major wounds. I'll tell you why we have three major wounds right after this other Brand of the Iron Eater. This Brand of the Iron Eater, we're going to have one major wound and two regular wounds. Now, to go back to this Brand of the Iron Eater, I have these three major wounds just because I like to get his crit chance as high as possible. When I was at a high level, I think it was uh, 10 or 12, I had my damage at about... 98 I was at a 98 or 110 and 
I, I don't think it was 98 or 110. It was a little higher than that because I was doing 156 damage for my critical chance. And my critical chance was up there at about 60 or 50%. So this is going to get your crit chance all the way up there. So maybe if you had this equipped it in the right order or your right, um, you know, so we're, you know what I'm talking about, you know, your right preference, there we go. If you have this deck build in your right preference at the right moment in the game, you can have your critical chance all the way up to about 200 damage or about 169 where mine was. And your regular damage should be about 120 or 130, something like that. Um, after that, we're going to have a micro nuke, which is going to be loaded with one minor strike, and the rest is going to be about five strikes. Uh, I have this because I just like getting his power, his regular power, up as high as I can. This also gives us 4% crit chance. After that, we're going to have Blade of Agora. Now, this Blade of Agora has two, one major strike, one minor strike, and one strike. I have this mixed around just in case it's situational. You can have the Blade of Agora out. You can have seven card power, you know, you come in at level six. You put your Blade of Agora in, you can have one minor strike. This would be perfect because, oh, I don't have a lot of card power, but I want to increase my power. So you put in that minor strike and you're done. Now we're going to get into some gameplays because that's what you've been waiting for. My name is Jalen Antoine Williams. This has been AAA. Love you guys for watching this.